All the dimensions for this project were in this field book. Whoops. Let's get to work. one side of the tower and now comes the scary part. I'm gonna use this piece as a template to make the other side and I'm gonna use a flush trim router bit to make them mirror each other and I've never used a flush trim router bit and I'm scared. asking yourself why I'm sanding this right now. Or you may be asking yourself, who sits down to sand? Or you might be asking yourself, why has he got such a wide shot of him sanding? Or you could be asking yourself none of those at all. But let me answer all those questions for you. Last night when I was cleaning up, I had this piece standing up over here on the bench. It fell off and cracked all the way through. Now, no big deal, I can work around it. Um, I went ahead and glued it up. It seems like it's pretty good, but the problem is, I can't burn this now because the heat will pop the glue. So I gotta come up with a different alternative on how to finish this. Uh, and I'm not sure what that is yet, but we'll get it to work. moment of truth time. This has been sanded and now it's time to burn it. I know I said I wasn't gonna burn it, but I can't help myself.
Good day and welcome to Build Dad Build Cooking Edition. Just kidding. Today I need to epoxy this across here through these two holes like so. And it is currently too cold outside for the epoxy to set. So I'm doing it in the kitchen. Wish me luck. I've never really worked with epoxy before, so. Hope that holds. 